Hi guys, welcome to another video by Olive Board. Today we'll be talking about ISRO, what it's about, its structure and a few projects taken up by it. So let's get straight into the video. So first let's look at uh, some highlights about ISRO. ISRO is part of the Department of Space of the Government of India and is the abbreviation for Indian Space Research Organization. ISRO was formed in 1969 by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai and is headquartered in Bangalore. ISRO built India's first satellite Aryabhatta, which was launched by the Soviet Union on April 19, 1975. Till date, ISRO has launched 97 spacecraft missions, including three nano satellites and one microsatellite, had 67 launch missions, nine student satellites, two re entry missions, and have also worked on 237 foreign satellites of 28 countries. Now, let's see what ISRO is all about. India first formed INCOSPAR, which is Indian National Committee for Space Research, as an initiative by the Government of India in 1962. It was an idea that was driven by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. The Indian Space Research Organization was formed in 1969 and superseded INCOSPAR. From its conception, ISRO has upheld its objective of bringing space to the service of the common man and to the service of the nation. It has become one of the six largest space agencies in the whole world. ISRO develops and delivers application-specific satellite products and tools to the nation like uh, broadcasts, communication, weather forecasts, uh, disaster management tools, geographic information systems, cartography, navigation, telemedicine and dedicated distance education satellites being some of them. To achieve uh, self-reliance for all these applications, ISRO developed the PSLV, which is the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, and the GSLV, the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle. Coming to organization structure, the Department of Space comes under the Prime Minister of India, and under the Department of Space lies ISRO. Under ISRO, we have various uh, centers like the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Liquid Propulsion System Center, Satish Dhawan Space Center, ISRO Satellite Center, Space Application Center, and National Remote Sensing Center, to name a few. The chairman of ISRO, who is also the secretary of the Depart Department of Space, is Dr. K. Shivan. Now let's talk about a couple of centers of ISRO. As spoken in the previous slide, ISRO has many centers throughout India, over 40 centers to be a little more precise. The VSSC or Vikram Sarabhai Space Center is where the design and development activities of satellite launch vehicles and sounding rockets are carried out. Antrix Corporation Limited is the marketing wing of ISRO and it was set up by the Government of India in 1992. The SDSC SHAR, the Satish Dhawan Space Center, is the main area for ISRO's launches. It has two launch pads and is located in Srihari Kota in the Nellore district of Andhra Pradesh. Now let's talk about Chandrayaan-1, one of ISRO's biggest missions. The Chandrayaan-1, India's first mission to the moon, was a great achievement for the country and was successfully orchestrated by ISRO on October 22, 2008 from SDSC Srihari Kota. The spacecraft, which was weighing at about 1,380 kgs at liftoff, orbited the moon at a height of 100 kilometers. It was launched by the PSLV launch vehicle. The spacecraft carried 11 scientific instruments built in India, US, UK, Germany, Sweden and Bulgaria and is said to have made more than 3,400 orbits of the moon. The mission lasted for about a year as the communication with the spacecraft was lost on August 29th, 2009 and the spacecraft was responsible for chemical, mineralogical and photogeologic mapping of the moon. Now let's come to Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan-2 is India's second mission to the moon and will comprise of an orbiter, lander and a rover. After the successful 100 km lunar orbit mission, this mission will aim to land a rover on the moon to perform objectives like remote sensing of the moon, collect scientific information like on uh, lunar topography, mineralogy, elemental abundance, lunar exosphere, etc. The Chandrayaan-2 mission is planned during the second half of 2018. So that was our video on ISRO. 
I hope you found it informative. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, share the video with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Comment below and let us know some interesting facts about ISRO. We have a very cool feature coming up for you guys, so stay tuned for more information on that. So until then, thanks for watching.